Okay, today we've done a few passes in the last video um, and there's one area in the game we can get through without having to go through the passes and there's a small path between Sawtooth Thicket and the Crags which I will show you now if we look at SOTA map we can zoom down to our normal area where we start from here we have Brittany we've followed the path all the way down through Midsummer's Way and past the Badger, past Bumbleshire, and then we come all the way down south Midsummer Way to Honour Hold, and then let's just get the pointer. We are just here, just where the bridge is, and down here, see if it's highlighted, it is, we've got Cooper's Pass, which is a little pass, so if you want to come into this area of the map, the perennial coast, normally you've got Brightbourne Pass, there, then you've got, just seeing the other passes, then you've got East Reach Gap up here, but if you don't want to go through the passes, you know, you can go through Cooper's Pass, so that is just quite simple, just find the bridge and saw the tooth thicket. Then we go to the left of it. Oh, no, right. In between the crags, and you will see a little pass through the hills. Now, there is normally some resistance. There's going to be a skeleton coming up, which is going to be an instance. But if you're quick enough, no. Here we are in the instance. Now, if you don't want to play it, you can just run out. I can't remember how hard it was, so we'll have a quick little look because it's a very simple pass. Now, all the skeletons are up here. So, first of all, just run round and click the resources. Uh, there's various resources in instances. Now, I have done a video on instances in the game. There's a couple. As I say, there's a skeleton. There's the bandits. <laughs> And then there's some more wolves and dogs. Each of them slight differences. But they all carry resource nodes. So they are good for collecting resources quickly and with no combat or little combat. Here we are, doing some copper. I've got mining of two on it. Got some tin there. Let's have a quick look. There's some gold. And all of these, of course, can be turned in, into their constituent metals and used in the game for crafting. There's another cotton bush, which is not ready. A pine tree. 
as say you can do all this without any combat. As you can see, oh, a bit of gold left behind over that. As you can see, all is without combat. So there we go. Let's go back and get the gold. There be gold in them hills. You don't have to fight them down in the wrong deck. Just swap the deck. There we go. But skeletons are quite rewarding. him. I'll stop him from running. Just check if there are any more. Yeah, another uh, another couple over here. Behind us. just need to get round. You don't have to do the instance at all. Just run out. Now once you've killed all the skeletons, if you look very carefully, let me just see them. There are some nice little nodes here. They sparkle at you. And if you put your mouse over them, you'll see that there's some nightshade plants and those are quite handy to, to collect but of course you've got to take the little baddies because there's a few of them around here just look for the little sparkles this is mandrake now this is just a watcher in the game watch you and that I don't know what they do and I think that might be all of it another one here let's say these plants a little bit hard to find so it's just taken a bit of time just look round. After a while, if they're about, they'll start to sparkle, and then you can pick them up. If you just rush past, you'll miss them. There's another one. So I just saw that sparkle. Just 
just have a look around just to see if any other. I don't think there are any other. But we'll have a slow look round. Can't see any. So what we can go and do is just loot our carcasses before they vanish. side, which if we go back to SOTA map, let me show you and say where we've come through. Where we come through was Cooper's Pass, we've got Adam Vale down here, we've got the Restless Woods, and then you've got Bridge, there's another hard area up there, Let's just have a look at that. It's a tier 5 or 5 skull, but then that brings you over into the perennial coast where some players actually start from. You've got Doris which is one of the main towns and Soul Town which is normally where some players will start the game from. So that saves you having to go through the choke points of Brightbane Pass which is a 5 tier then the other passes in the area of course is East Reach Gap which again is a 5 skull instance so if you don't want to go through them you can sneak through Cooper's Pass So I hope you find or found this video helpful. Down here is Abbeva Ald Aldhaven. Got to learn how to pronounce. Is a player coming through the pass here? Another one. You're probably looking at me wondering what I'm doing. So there we have it. So if you sorry if you found the video helpful please do like and subscribe from my other videos and please do also leave comments of this video or anything else you'd like me to do in the game and thanks for watching.